In the last video, we talked about why double digit stack multiplication makes sense. And we looked at this area model to say that we're basically splitting up the numbers to make smaller rectangles and adding them up. And we're not really changing the area altogether. In this video, we're going to get some practice with this double digit stack multiplication. So we'll start off with one that, that doesn't require us to carry anything, and then we'll move on to a tougher example, and then, and then one more tougher one after that. So let's start with a um, 41 times, let's say, 22. Well, again, what we do in this process is we start with this digit and multiply by the two digits above. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. But it's really 2 times 4, so it's 2 times 40, so it's 80. And now, like we said in the last video, uh, when we start with this digit next and we multiply up, really that's 20 not just 2. So when we take 20 times 1, we should get 20. And that 2 needs to go here. Right? We work down layer by layer and not here. So to prevent ourselves from making that mistake, usually before we even start this multiplication, we put a 0 here. And now we start with the next digit. 2 times 1 is 2. And you can see that it creates the 20. And it saves us from making that mistake. Then last we have 2 times 4 which is 8, or 20 times 40, which is an 800, and goes right there. And then we add. So we get 2 and 0 is 2, 8 and 2 is 10, 8 and 1 is 9. So the answer is 902. We'll do one more example. Let's try 33 times 11. So now we take 1 and multiply it by the 3 up here. Right? 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 30 is 30, or 3. The next, the next, next row, we take this 1, but we want to start with the 0 here. This is, this is 10 times 3 is 30, or I'll put a 3. 1 times 3 is 3. And 1 times 3 is 3. And that's 10 times 30, which is 300, so that 3 needs to go in the hundreds place. But notice we just kind of, as you multiply each place value combination, we work to the left. So we just keep adding the digits in, and now we just add to get 363. Now let's work on a tougher example. Let's carry a little bit. What if I had 45 times 34? Okay, well now when we start we have 4 times 5, which is 20. So the 0 goes here, and then 2 tens. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. And again, I'm, I have nothing to know that digits to combine here. So because I have an 18, I just put the 1 in the hundreds place. right? So you can always see that I wrote 18 out. Nothing left to carry. And now we start with the next row, because we're moving on from 4 to 3. And we want to start with the 0 here as a placeholder. 3 times 5 is 15. And now I put a 1 up here. I'm going to cross this 2 out. You might even want to cross those little numbers out. Uh, every time you move to the next digit. So first I had 4 times 5 and then 4 times 4, and that little 2 came from the 4 times 5. So when you're done with this 4, you're done distributing it and multiplying it by the pieces above, you might want to cross out the little number so you don't confuse it. Because you'll start to see that these numbers stack up and you can get confused. So now 3 times 4 is 12, plus the 1 is 13. I just write 13 down. And I add up 0, 8 and 5 is 13, 4 and 5, and then 1. The answer, 1,530. And uh, as we've been doing in other videos, let's finish off with a tougher one. Let's use all 9s. Okay, so now 9 times 9 is 81. Put a 1 here and 8 up here. 9 times 9, 81, plus 8, 89. So write 89. And now cross this out. Put a 0 here as a placeholder. And now we're distributing this 9 which is 90. So 9 times 9 is 81. 1, and then 8 up here. 9 times 9 is 81 plus 8 is 89. And we add up. 1, 9 and 1 is 10, 17, 18, and 9. 9,801. Hope that helped.